Good morning, everyone, and we are so excited to be before you today in regards to the Save a Suit program that we have. Uh, it is a program in which uh, we collect suits for veterans, um, both male and female, so we want to make it clear that it's not just for men, um, that we will gladly take um, anything for women, as you can see, shoes, dresses, shirts, um, suits. Uh, I just, I'm so happy to be with uh, Representative uh, Dorinda Bohr uh, in regards to this. She actually has been doing it a little longer than me. Um, I'm gonna step to the side so that she can have a few words and then we're gonna have her introduce the gentlemen that are with us. Thanks. Thank you, Representative Nolan. And I want to uh, give a big shout out to you. You have taken on the Veterans Legislative Committee and run with it and is passing a, lo a lot of really great bills that support our veterans. I want you to come up and join us because you're the man running the Save a Suit and I think people need to know who you are. So come on. Um, so in addition to Representative Nolan, um, I also want to uh, recognize Representative Vale because this is a bipartisan effort and he yeah. is the ranking member of the committee. He is stuck in a little traffic, um, but he is here and he's been working with us hand in hand. And also a big shout out to Representative Ferraro, who was one of the first to begin this initiative a few years ago. So the reason we're here, first of all, we want to thank all of the generous donations that we received for all of the great clothing. We know that um, sometimes when our service men and women uh, come back, they um, are they face some challenges. And we want to be able to remove one of those obstacles, which is not only the cost of um, the attire, but having to go out and find the attire. This makes it convenient for them and that's what we need to do we need to provide them the economic um, value that they deserve and we also want to make life uh, a little simpler for them because they have given so much uh, of their life for us so that we could stand here and all share our our greatest uh our greatest uh, liberty which is our freedom so we thank all of our service men and women who have been serving um, this is for them I love the clothes um, we're going to bring these clothes down to different communities so that they can see and they can select what they want and um, I want to give a big shout out to Max Foundation because Max Foundation a few years ago stepped up and has been providing so much funding to help our veterans and really it's been um, so instrumental to help get our veterans back on their feet. So really, thank you. I'm going to have each person speak and, um, oh, and our man who has coordinated this, Mr. Silverberg, who has been, uh, I don't want to say uh, the word relentless, but uh, I can't give another nicer word. Uh, but relentless is a good word because it means he's a strong advocate and he wanted to make sure this happened and he's the one who helps pull it all together every year. So thank you for everything you've done. I'm going to turn it over to our Save the Suit leaders so that you can say a few words and then we'll hand it over to Max's Foundation as well. Thank you. Good morning. My name, good morning. My name is Julio Fajardo. I am the manager at Save a Suit. What we do is that we give um, a top business attire to both male and female veterans so that they can get back to the workforce at, a, at an advantage compared to other people. We also do have a national program where we collect the information of veterans, veterans send it in their sizes, their addresses and whatnot. We send them their suits free of charge, uh, completely free of charge so that they can, you know, so that they don't have to come in if they cannot come in, if they're in another part of the world. Heck, God, the other day I sent one to Italy for another serviceman. So, you know, like I said, we're very happy to be here. We very, feel very privileged to be able to be here today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want to say a few words? No? Okay. You're up. Uh, thank you everyone for coming. This is the fifth year that we are doing Save a Suit at the Capitol. I cannot thank the chairman, the ranking member, and all the members of the Veterans Affairs Committee for the time and dedication that they've put forward to making this event happen. I would like to also extend a real shout out to all the legislators, lobbyists, and staffers in the building who have gotten behind this cause so much so. And lastly, a real shout out to the Max Cares Foundation. For four of the five years that we have done this event at the Capitol, they have been
been so generous, not only with their time and their effort to market this to their customer base, but Max has also generously donated to the Save a Suit Foundation monetarily. So with that, I would like to introduce Brian Costa of the Max Cares Foundation. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this has been a, a great event. Uh, it holds a, a, a good meeting to me with my father being a veteran and, and both my grandparents uh, having served, my grandfather served uh, in, in different uh, wars. And having the Max Karras Foundation be able to open their doors to uh, allowing or, or asking our guests to bring in uh, their suits, we were overwhelmed. We opened Max Fish, uh, Max Oyster, and downtown as drop off locations and had our coat rooms just overflowing with, with suits, which are going to be dropping off in a little while. So it feels great to do an event like this and um, I'm so happy that Max Cares Foundation could be a part of it this year and, and, and again in the future so thanks so much thank you so uh, once again um, we're asking people to donate uh, professional business attire for our veterans um, someone asked what are the why, why are we doing this well um, you know it, it helps it helps with the transition of, with veterans from uh, military to civilian life, uh, something that is not always easy once you spend a lot of time in the military. Um, we also want to make sure that you understand that this is not the only day that we're doing this. We're going to be branching out, branching out uh, to make sure that um, people throughout the state of Connecticut have an opportunity to donate suits. Um, today alone, I know we have, I think, three truckloads. Yeah, three, three pickup truckloads. We have three truckloads of suits. Um, I think last year we did over 5,000 suits. Um, so we're, we're looking to create, or we, we're looking to get more than that. We're working to do above the 5,000 mark. I don't know if I'm going to get yelled at afterward for saying that. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think it's real important that uh, veterans have this opportunity. And this is one of the best ways to do it. Donate your professional business attire to save the suits, and we can make things happen for veterans. Thank you very much. Representative, how you doing? I didn't see you over there. Perfect example of representatives walking up and donating. One of one of our committee members. Um, I'm gonna ask you to come up, and say a few words. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman Nolan and Representative Boer and all the folks who are involved in this uh, uh, process. I think this is a, a great um, endeavor to try to help our veterans, and that's something that you know Chairman uh, Nolan really has been uh, organizing behind the scenes and through the committee work, and uh, I'm just privileged to be uh, able to be part of the uh, Veterans and Military Affairs Committee uh, following the good work uh, that uh, Chairman Nolan is doing. Uh, I know this will make a real impact. We have s similar drives like this in the Danbury area, um, and it's just fantastic to be able to help. So I'm happy to contribute, happy to be here, happy to support. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks for being here. I, I will say the, the, the shoes to fill are, are very big. People that have been on the committee a long time, uh, a lot longer than I have, uh, but it's exciting um, to see some of the things that they initiated prior to me taking over as chair for the House. Um, so we're just excited. And once again, please, if you have any professional business attire that you can donate uh, for Save the Suit, then please contact us here. Do um, you want to say the address in the phone number or anything for somebody to contact? Hi, so um, so you can get reach us. Uh, we are located at 137 Greenwood Avenue in Bethel, Connecticut. Um, our office number is 203-456-6801. Um, and if you want to get in contact with any of us um, to potentially do any kind of um, suit drives or get involved with us, um, definitely reach out. Um, our, our, all our information is also on our website. Um, you can also reach us at admin at savesuit.org. Thank you. I'd just like to thank everybody for coming, especially our staff for helping us put this together. Without our staff, we really couldn't do this. Uh, so thank everybody very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.